Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you can recall, I was there in October, but my friend doesn't know where this place is. What's your impression about this place? Uh, uh, I'm a little bit shocked because <laughs> I didn't know a place like this exists in Sierra Leone. Honestly speaking. Come, come down, come Look down. Look at this. <laughs> Different islands. It's cool. Uh, there, are, there are about five beautiful islands within this community. See, this area is made up of five islands Tasso Island, Bombs Island, it's all from this area. You can see Pepel. Over that area is prepared. So what do we like to tell people about this place? Uh, what I would like to say is I encourage people out there, especially Syrians, to come around and explore the inner parts of Sierra Leone because the hidden parts are the most beautiful parts in the country. As you I wish there was a boat <laughs> that could have taken us across. We could have had, had it so. Uh -huh. Other islands. But I'm sure we will do that some other time. Some other time, yeah. Mr. Masai, you are the engineers of this land. Have you ever seen this place before? Thank God, you are used to all the world. For the word ages, I've been there for many times as you can see this point of coastal area is so amazing and as you can see some you know substituted structures that have been constructed by our Chinese it's a very good place it's cool and in fact it's a fishing ground yeah in fact this part of the chief that you can for uh the fishermen produce up to 80 percent of the fish that is to produce from this particular from this particular, from this particular yeah. But this place is known as Obey, the Korean Obey. And then just as much you pick up the street, all of the people that you have to come to the Over there is Tasso, there is Wore, we have Abebel, we have Bond. And Bond's Island is in front of you. The tiny island. We are thousands of people we are held captive as slaves before they were finally shipped out of CLU. That's the best chance. So over there is 
Kakum Island. Kakum. 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 We are coming close to an island which are close to 300 people. This island in Temna is called Kakum Island. In the local dialect or in English it means Monkey Island. It's an island with close to 300 people. An island without school, hospital, nothing. Fishing is a key economic activity. The kids in the rainy season. Body about some Kakum Island, which is called Monkey Island. A fishing community to tasso for them to have education. Imagine how risky it is for these kids to have education in this rough weather. They have a beautiful community, a beautiful inhabited beach. If a woman uh, needs surgery when she is pregnant, they need to put her on board the boat to free town. And it takes them 35 minutes from here with the local boat they are using for them to arrive at San Green. Imagine what will be the fate of this woman. There are so many girls. There are kids here at the age of 13 who are married. The last time that I saw some of these islands, the tour guide told us that um, about two or three of those islands, no one is living there. How crazy. There are people that just going there to do fishing or yeah, but there are no residential houses there. All those three places, habitant places, people reside there. Although there are many places for them to live, is this okay? Is this village the center for them? See, some of those places when they used to go there for them to do that fishing, so whenever the time want to tell them there, so they decide. Okay. Wow. Well, for me, this area is no longer a strange area for me because I've been to Tasso Island, I've been to Bonds Island, and it's one of the most beautiful areas in Lungi I have seen. If you don't know where is Lungi, Lungi is the airport town of Sierra Leone. It's a place where you can find the Freetown International Airport. So this is Lungi and I promise to show you so many beautiful places more. So um, how about Will you love to come once more in this area? Ah, uh, always. Uh, I always want to come back because I want to experience the visitation of the, the Bath Island and the Pell Island. Is that For now, we can't see anyone around. Uh, uh, no, no. Hey, I just was like going to say something. Yeah, so the just, just. Is over there. Uh, the place is, uh, is called Anzu. No, not for them. Take it back to the place about 30 acres. And take it first to Island. That's one over there? Yeah, yeah. But I can recall as Anzu, I can recall the name of Island. Okay. Also, want uh, investors, if they are interested, mm. it's a very good island. Very good island. Are people living there? No, people are not living there. Ah, so that's one of the islands that I was saying that yeah. there are no one living in some of this island. That island. That's so that's one. No one. The people used to go there for them to manufacture salt. Salt. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's one of the islands where salt is being manufactured. Okay. You mentioned that this is a fishing community, but I, I've only seen boats. Where are the fishermen? No, you will not see them. Because they are specific time for the fishing. 
Now it's high water. Whenever you know the water used to fluctuate, guys and all. So now it's high tide. Okay. You cannot go to the sea for them to do the fishing boat. Yeah, so many, so many fishing boats, Saga. Yeah, yeah, we're about to go there.